What up, what up, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen and pets of all ages? It's your boy, Jazz. Welcome back to another Madden 25 offline franchise. We are going, <coughs> excuse me, we are going up against the Baltimore Ravens. And it's getting closer to playoff times, man. So, getting a little nervous. <laughs> I'm not, not going to lie, getting a little nervous. We are uh, definitely in, you know, position to clinch the NFC. Um, well... Uh, well, our division, obviously, we would definitely like uh, to get home field throughout, but uh, the Cowboys and us, we have the exact same record, and we actually lost to the Cowboys, so they would have the tiebreaker in that. So, if we happen to face um, Dallas in the playoffs, as it stands right now, we would play in their home, which we don't want, you know what I mean? We want Ziggy to make as much money as possible, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, as you guys can see from the thumbnail and the title, uh, yeah, yeah, my boy AP has a pretty productive game today. So, uh, looking at the quarterback for the Ravens, they had the same idea I have. Just draft everything and we won't worry about a quarterback. Get a quarterback later. Get the quarterback a little later on. Who needs a quarterback to be successful? So, um, they do have Arian Foster, and he has one hell of a game. Look at my boy Daniel Manning coming off the edge, though. He's hot. Hot fire. Daniel Manning, he spits hot fire. That's what he does, though. So, we end up getting a huge sack, forcing a third and long, where he backs up, and we end up forcing an incomplete pass. So, right now, we have the privilege of being able to stop them on their first possession. So, let's see if we can go on ahead and make this turn into points. So, our very first play as we're about to see Vince Young come off the sideline. Where you at, Vince? Yeah. Yeah. My boy, Vince. So, of course, we want to give the ball to AP, and we get shut down immediately. So, uh, we take a look at our offensive line right here. And uh, <coughs> still, we know, obviously, our success goes to Adrian Peterson. So, we don't want to give up on him running the ball. So, right here, we get a great game. Look at the speed, the agility, the finesse. And right here, we end up getting a great gain. And that run right there makes us the NFL leader in rushing yards for a season. He has had an absolute dominating year. And we still got, what, three games left, four games left? So, uh, <laughs> we got a chance to completely obliterate the record. So, here we go. Third and goal. We go with the play action. And wide open is A.J. Green. Uh, just dragging over towards the left and that right there gives us our first offensive touchdown of the game in this game I definitely again wanted to make a statement with Vince Young I have yet to really have a tremendous productive day throwing the ball with him and I looked at the defense and they particularly didn't have a defense that scared me when it comes to passing the ball so uh, I felt like I could you know have success passing and hopefully my game plan works out right there Arian Foster hits me with the Miyagi He's about to give me the Miyagi right here. Right here. Wax on. Wax off, Sensei. Right there. He hits me with the Mr. Miyagi. And it is a tie game 7-7. Seven seven. So, we do get ball in half. We are already up one possession. So, it is key to stay consistent when going up against this cheesy-ass all matter computer. Right there, AJ Green drops a wide-open pass as he was coming down due to the contact, which definitely sucked. Third down right there. We couldn't even get a pass off. And we're forced to go on ahead and punt the ball, which again sucks, you know. So they got their possession back when I first stopped them first uh, possession of the game. Very next play, pancakes everywhere, and Arian Foster again shows me that he has a black belt in running the ball. Oh, Sensei! And right now we are down 14 to seven. First quarter is coming to an end after this run back right here. So I'm just thinking to myself, all right, gotta relax, gotta make sure. That this time we start to drive the right way. Last time it was an incomplete pass. So we're going to start with AP. It's the side. And oh, we get Rome. And I tried to hit him with the, the stiffy, but I couldn't get it off. Really quick pass right there to AJ Green. Like I said, man, I definitely wanted to have a big game with Vince Young. And AJ Green was a huge part of this game. Another drop pass for AJ Green. I don't know what's up with his catching traffic, man. He's unable to hold on to these balls as he's coming down. So. Third and four, right? We go to the play action. We're looking, and we do have another uh, dragging, <coughs> excuse me, AJ Green for his fourth reception. Another quick drag to Cole. So, you know, I'm getting my, my drag game up. You know what I'm saying? Right here, I tried to go to the wide receiver screen. Nobody was open, so we end up going to AP. 
gets us within the five yard line actually on the three so again we go to the goal line play action and aj green again is dragging booty butthole naked over the middle of the field <coughs> usually you got to pay 75 dollars an hour to see somebody that butt naked so we end up tying the game and that right there gets <coughs> oh my goodness <coughs> too much astronomical biblicalness going on in this commentary i can't even contain myself so that right there gives vince young two passing touchdowns gives aj green two receiving touchdowns and i think that is the most for either of them this year in one game so uh definitely good to be able to connect with my number one receiver twice already in as many possessions so uh well two and three possessions but two and two scoring possessions i should say so here we go backing up with vince young and again just just the cheese that the computer said they get to me in a nanosecond second and forever we go to aj and finally he ends up holding on to the pass Giving us an opportunity to pick up this first down. We go to the screen and we hit my boy. I'm a soldier. Look at what's the rumbling bubble. I'm hitting him with the stiffy though. And again, we get within the five yard line. And again, we try to hit him with the play action. And we find AJ Green again with the play action dragging over the middle. His third touchdown of the game. Same as Vince Young. And that right there. We're kicking field goals from down there. That right there is already the most passing touchdowns. I've had in one game and this right here for the first time gives Vince Young more passing touchdowns than interceptions. So hopefully the second half we can have the, the same amount of success passing the ball as well as running the ball. So, you know, we have the NFL all time rushing single season leader in Adrian Peterson. And, you know, hopefully he can go on ahead and, and put that record so far where nobody has an opportunity to touch it. So <coughs> second down right here. As you see, we're just slinging the ball. We go back to A.J. Green. Beautiful rapport between Vince Young and A.J. Green. And see three touchdowns, no interceptions. And then we still have Adrian Peterson. So if we're able to have success passing the ball, that's going to make us a very dangerous team heading on into the playoffs due to the fact that all of my success is running the ball. I struggle when it comes to the pass. So if I'm somehow able to have success passing the ball against this cheesy-ass All-Madden team, then I definitely feel like we're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the playoffs. Right? And nobody's open. Vince Young takes off. Look at Vince Young with his fourth offensive touchdown of the game. Hope you started him in your fantasy this week, folks. That young gentleman is absolutely taking off and putting in work. Did you see that right there? I read the auto motion. I came screaming down and I missed everybody. Everybody. I don't even know how I got close. To even missing like I got close to missing you believe that nonsense like how do I miss that man Arian Foster dominated this game uh, we end up stopping him right here at yard shy but the very next play hits us with the toss to the left side and Arian Foster gets his third touchdown of the game so Arian Foster came to play you know same as again <laughs> oh you just you just gonna keep on bowing in the end zone huh that's what you gonna do that's how you feel that's how you feel <laughs> so uh Right now, fourth quarter's here. Play smart, keep the ball, and you know, keep it away from them. So right here, a read option. We hit the outside with Adrian Peterson. I tried to catch him with the juke. I, I could have caught him with the tiger, but I, I wanted to, to swivel on him. You know, sometimes you just gotta swivel on him. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gotta swivel on him. You can't blame a brother for trying to swivel. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? So right here, we're trying to go to the out route, and we end up finding Cole. We are already in field goal range and suing ourselves a multiple possession lead. Unless we throw an interception and that's what happened. I seen the drag I didn't think the defender was gonna do such a sharp bite down like that and catch the interception Unfortunately, I was wrong and that right there sucked I gave them an opportunity to go on ahead and tie this game and Right there look at this first down. I thought we had him Unfortunately, he makes a beautiful juke move towards the outside and he ends up picking up the first down. So right now, I'm thinking to myself, I'm I'm not even thinking to myself. I'm just scared. I'm just scared that I'm going to go ahead and lose this game. You know what I mean? So uh, hopefully our defense can come through. They need a touchdown to tie the game. They do have all of their timeouts. It's FM boo. What I thought what was going to happen is that we would hold them to a field goal. And they were going to you know try their defense on the field to go on ahead and... Um, kick the ball off but because of that injury timeout now they're down a TD so if I were to stop them on fourth down I'm pretty sure they're going to try and go for it instead of kicking a field goal so 
right there. We get a huge sack from the right side. So, of course, as expected, they go for it, and he does a quick shovel pass. Maybe that's why you're like 5-6 and six or whatever your record was. So, uh, this game is pretty much over. One first down, we're uh, going ahead and uh, seal this victory for us. And we do end up picking it up right here on the triple option. We just hand it off to Adrian Peterson, and we pick up a first down right here. Last play of the game after this run right here. We figure we'll waste the time down. We'll just chuck one up for fun after this run. And we actually find my boy Johnny Knox right here just streaking booty butt on naked wide open over the seams. And we end up catching him in stride for a touchdown. So Vince Young threw for four touchdowns and ran for one. Five touchdowns. He was actually offensive player of the week this week. Look at us outpassing the run. That has never happened this year. So, and look at the time of possession. We absolutely dominated them. So, we pick up another victory next week. I haven't even looked at the team yet, but look at their record, though. Just wait for it. We look at the record. We're like, wow. Uh, nine and four, I believe it is, against the Eagles. Definitely going to be one tough matchup. So, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the win. I know Vicky's happy. Look at that smile on the top right. It's your boy Jess. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.